Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, I know I said I wasn't gonna do another one of these for a while because I was DIY'd out, but I'm coming at you with another DIY video because we're in lockdown and I'm getting impatient. Um, yeah, so today we are gonna be tackling a small part of the garden. Um, so just to give a little bit of context, um, we live in a new build, we moved in August 2018 so we've been here coming up to two years so it was new two years ago um, and our garden is it's not too bad like it's um it's not the biggest garden we have like a little kind of patio area um, it's it's just it's just quite bland um, so I do want to do quite a lot to the garden um, and do like a really nice kind of easy garden like a low maintenance garden transformation because I am not about back gardening life. I'm rubbish, I kill stuff. I just don't wanna put in the effort. But for now, I'm gonna step out this video and we're literally just gonna address the kind of paving area, which is my main kind of gripe with the garden. Um, so I am gonna be kind of inserting clips here. I don't really wanna go out and um, stand in my garden, talk about all the things I hate about it because all of my neighbours have the same garden, so I think that'd be a bit, a bit awkward. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna insert some clips, but kind of talk you through it now. Uh, so, yeah, garden's not very big, most of it's grass, I mean, we do like the grass, and then we obviously have these like massive um, bifold doors coming out of our kitchen, which we absolutely love, especially in summer. It's just so nice to open up the side of the house and that's probably one of my most favourite features about this house. Um, and then we kind of like step out onto our little patio area. It's not massive. Um, we don't have a lot of garden furniture at the moment because we had some really, really old stuff that was really broken and we just kind of got rid of it. I have got a couple of little chairs and what we want to kind of do is create a nice kind of bistro seating area just outside because when we have friends around we don't really it's not like we all sit at a big kind of table anyway outside, so I feel like we don't need a lot of furniture, but we it's nice for me and Steve to like grab a cup of coffee, go outside and kind of sit and, you know, have our coffee or our lunch in the sun, which we do quite a lot. So we've got a couple of chairs to go in this kind of patio area. Um, and yeah, the patio kind of wraps around, but for today, we're literally just gonna be looking at this kind of patio. So the patio stones, right, I don't wanna cause any offense by saying any of this. At the end of the day, with any kind of like interior design or anything like that, it is very much all personal taste. My personal taste is I do not like the patio slabs, but I don't want people to think, oh, mine are like that. That means I've got horrible patio slabs. It's definitely each to their own, but for my kind of style, they're just not what I want. I mean, I need to go power wash them. That's the first thing I'm gonna do is power wash them because they are disgusting. Um, but I, they're just, ugh. They're a kind of natural colour, but they're very yellowy. They have this really like yellowy kind of grubby tone to them. I don't like them whatsoever. In an ideal world, I would have maybe like more of a slate tile. Something like that is far more my kind of style. But we've looked into kind of digging up all the patio, putting down decking, putting down new patio. And we've decided that it's not really worth the money to do that. There's other things that we definitely rather do around the house first. So this is gonna be a very much an easy kind of quick fix video. Is this a long-term solution? No, but this should hopefully make it a lot nicer for what we want right now. Um, so yeah, plan is jet wash these bad boys back. And I actually have some paint, which I'm gonna to use to stain the tiles. So we're gonna take it a kind of similar shade. Is that right? A similar kind of color, but lighter. So we've gone for, we're going for a more kind of light stone color rather than, a, right now it's quite yellowy. Anyway, so plan is to kind of like power wash it, try and transform these stones, um, these patio slabs and oh, fingers crossed and then kind of style it out. I've got a little DIY, um, a couple of little DIY kind of cheap um, outdoor kind of furniture hacks as well. So if you like the kind of DIY cheap hacks, definitely stay tuned because I've got a couple of those coming up. But the patio is definitely 
the main kind of issue at the moment but yeah I feel like once it's all styled up it will look really cool but I mean you guys know I'm all about the accessories I like the styling bit I don't like doing the work but you got to do the hard work first before you can style it so yeah I'm literally gonna go down now power wash it it's extremely hot today so I'm hoping it'll dry quite quickly so I can paint it later today um I need to pop out to B&Q to get some supplies um yeah and then we can hopefully paint it tonight leave it to dry overnight because it's meant to be dry and then I'll be styling that up for you guys tomorrow but yeah this is very much like one part of the garden transformation because doing it in one go is just too much like even for me no thank you so there will be more garden transformation stuff coming up in the future just sort of trying to save a bit of money at the moment and do things um kind of stepped out a little bit of a time but also trying to make the most of lockdown and all this spare time we have today um the so just power washed it's literally like drying instantly because it's just so warm but i thought i'm gonna pop to bnq now but i thought i'd run you through some of the stuff that i already have so paint wise oh actually let me get this slab as well i managed to find this patio slab which is really really similar but it's more of a kind of creamy color which is actually more of the color we're kind of going for I, what I've heard is that you can use masonry paint, but this is actually the paint that we're going for. So it's not actually masonry paint. So this could go really, really wrong, but fingers crossed it doesn't. This is actually um, some Cupronol Garden Shades paints. We've gone for the shade Natural Stone. Like I said, I think it's better to stay a more similar color to what we already have, but just go for something that was far more um like it's more of like an ashy tone rather than like a yellow tone like what we have at the moment so this is garden paint it's matte finish perfect because that's what we found with the floor paint is that it wasn't a true matte which we didn't really like and it actually says on here that you can use it on wood terracotta stone and brick so i think as long as you get in the brick paint it should be okay guys i'm not a diy professional so please take all of this with a pinch of salt um, but yeah, we got that. Then let me show you my garden chairs as well. So I spent ages online looking for like bistro sets and um, they were really, really expensive. But I actually found these, really liked them. They're this kind of like plastic tub kind of chair um, with these wooden legs. And these were really cheap. Um, I think they've actually now put up the price, which is really annoying. But I'm pretty sure they were like 30 quid for the pair. Um, so I was like, do you know what, let's just get them. I like the way they look, um, but I may paint the legs out black because I have some of this paint left over from a previous pro project. It's like a blackboard paint, so it's just like a matte black paint, but it's good for like wood metal and it's, you can use it on interior and exterior. I actually can't believe how quickly that's drying. That's like 15 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right guys, I am back from being q that was not a quick trip because I ordered something online and I basically ordered the wrong thing. It was really misleading. Anyway, I'm gonna talk you through some of the stuff that I'm gonna be like DIYing, bits I've got to decorate. So I'm gonna start with this. Okay, so first off, I thought what would be really good to like make it more of a kind of, I don't know, comfy outdoor living space, get a rug. And I was looking at all these like jute rugs, loved that idea, like that more kind of natural fiber rug. 
something like that um but everything i looked at that was the right kind of size was quite expensive or like more than i wanted to pay anyway so i found this on ikea when i originally found it they weren't doing delivery and i was absolutely gutted put it off because i just couldn't find what i wanted and they now had it for delivery it took a while to get here but it was totally worth it and i think it's called the like td or what's it called tip tifidi something like that I'll link everything down below anyway, but it's kind of like a natural fiber flat woven rug and you have these kind of like dark grayish black um, kind of streaks running through it. Ooh, I've knocked my water over. Um, and this was so cheap. I th I'm pretty sure it was 10 pounds and the delivery is like three pounds. So it was only like 13 pounds. And one of the reasons I really wanted it is partly because it was exactly what I was looking for and also it's really really thin and it's actually machine washable so obviously if it's raining and in winter we're not going to leave it out there we'll roll it up and put it in the garage um but if it was to get muddy and earlier when I said Rocky's just walked paw prints on my new rug this was the rug um but it is machine washable obviously it is meant to be an indoor rug, but we're just gonna use it as an outdoor rug and just sort of like wash it when we need to, not leave it out in the rain. And at the end of the day, it was so cheap. I think it's totally worth it. So really nice thin rug, just to kind of like break up the area. We're going for like a bit of zoning, do you know what I mean? I wanted to zone our little bistro seating area. The other really exciting thing I've got, so, probably wondering what this is. I saw this on Pinterest. I'm gonna put a little picture in here. Um, and I'll link down below the, It's I think it's a tutorial, I'll have to check again, um, exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Basically, you guys may have seen this in my garage transformation, we just had a random tire in our garage. So, little disclaimer, we've had this since before lockdown, just so you know. Um, and basically, someone who lived up the road from us was just getting rid of it. I don't know what the situation was, whether they ordered the wrong one or something, but it's like a brand new tire I think it's brand new, or it looks like in pretty good nick. Um, so we just said, oh, we'll take it off your hands sort of thing. Um, so that is why we got it. If, um, obviously at the moment it's not ideal. I don't suggest getting a brand new tire for this project. What I was gonna do is actually, I've heard that you can just pop to your local garage, ask if they've got any old tires they're just getting rid of anyway. Um, so I'm gonna see how this one goes. And then if I really like it, I may, might make some more um, and when obviously lockdown's lifted and it's safe to go and sort of like grab some more tyres, I will do so. But basically I'm going to turn it into a little kind of footstool ottoman style thing. So again, I like that kind of like um, natural woven fibre of wrapping it in rope basically. Um, I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do it anyway. And then that's what I went to be in queue for was actually the rope. And where I messed up is that online, they said they had this rope and it said 32 meters. So I, I was like, I have no idea how much I'm gonna need. The bits of rope were only two pound 50. I was like, I'm just gonna get two of them and just whatever, you know, five quid, why not? Turned up and they brought me out this like two meter piece of rope. And I was like, that's not what I've ordered. Um, and I showed them my order and they were like, we've got no idea how you managed to order that. But basically it doesn't, it, you get two meters you put in the amount that you want and the amount is the meters. It's so confusing. It, it's really, really bad design. Um, so I picked up two of these and they're way more expensive than I thought they'd be. So these are 12 millimeter diameters, 10 meter length. I've got no idea how much I'm gonna need. These to each were 12 quid. So it's like 24, five quid for this alone. So it's turning into more of an exp expensive product. Um, project than I'd hoped. Um, I might have a quick look on Amazon or see if I can find some cheaper online because I've got the receipts so I can return those if I don't want them. But yeah, that's going to be a big project is turning this bad boy into a footstool. So that's going to be one of my hacks. And then my other one, opening up my IKEA box. So when I ordered the rug, I also saw these and I saw these in store. Um, I, think I, I think it was when I did one of my Ikea store tours, obviously before lockdown. And I remember saying to Steve, I was like, oh my God, those planters are so cheap. 
it's a bin. Um, and I'm just like so shocked because it does look like a planter. I'm sorry, but it does. And I, they're one quid each, I think. I got four, I went crazy, I just got four because I saw someone who'd done this thing where they attached them like that and made a tall planter. Um, so I might kind of make a tall planter. I, I don't know if I like that though. I don't know. I'll have to ask Steve. But basically you can just screw through them and just, I've got some like little screws and bolts just left over from other projects. So I was just gonna fasten them together. And I actually just picked up this plant as well to kind of go in it. And you guys can't see that, it's too close. Kind of like a long grass. Um, this plant was only six pounds. So, I mean, it's not huge, but I think it will get a bit bigger. But yeah, I thought that would be quite cute as like an extra little, I don't know, just an extra little plant to kind of jazz the area up. Um, and that's it really, I think. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be, um, but it does look so much better. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day. Um, so yesterday, painted the patio slabs, as you guys would have seen. So just to recap, I did one coat, which was the kind of like 50-50 um, mix of water and the paint did that as a first coat because I had read that apparently like the um some types of like stone and stuff could be quite porous and just suck it up anyway so I thought it'd be good to do that as a first coat and then just do the second coat a complete like 100% paint kind of coat um and it's covered it really really well when I showed you guys um the kind of patio I didn't show you much of the path that kind of goes around to our garage because there's just loads of stuff there that needs to be chucked it's really messy but basically I've managed to cover the whole of the patio but I've run out of paint so I haven't been able to do a second coat on that one path um and the coverage is really good I will say that I'm not 100% happy with the colour Steve really likes it I think it's better than it was before but my main kind of issue with it is that I thought it was going to be a lot more of a kind of creamy colour more of like a nice kind of light creamy natural stone colour and the colour it's turned out is very very different to the colour it was in the tin the colour it was meant to be and it's a lot more it's quite bright and got quite a grey tone so I'll show it to you now I've just chucked out um the rug out there for now and our chairs because we did have a little sit out there the other day it does dry very very quick as well just so you know um yeah I'm going to show it to you like what I've said to Steve is I need to go out and get more paint anyway because I, I haven't finished it so I'm not gonna completely finish the side path in this video not that you guys will really know because I'm not going to show it to you um but I'm going to live with it for a little while and see if I like it and if I still if I'm still not 100% when I go and get more paint I might try doing a third coat with a different color maybe um I'm not too sure but anyway let me know what you guys think of the color if you think it's a little too bright or not which is exactly where I am at the moment I like it a little more than I did yesterday so maybe it is just me trying to adjust to it but yeah I'll go show you now I mean, in the morning, the sun's always like really, really strong on this bit anyway.
Hmm, I'm not sure. Let me pull this rug up. There we go. Hmm, I don't know. Like the coverage is really, really good. It's covered it really well. I'm just not 100% on the colour to be honest. And it blends in a lot more with the rug than I thought it would. But yeah, I'm just a bit undecided. So checklist for today is to paint the chair legs black. Um, I'm gonna do that now out in the sun so hopefully they'll dry quite quickly. And then I'm gonna do my DIY for my tire. And then I've got the little planter DIY to do as well. I showed it to Steve and he said that he liked them stacked one on top of the other. So I'm gonna do the tall planter. I've got four of them anyway, four of those kind of bins. So I'll do one tall planter and then maybe keep two for like some little, are you all right mate? Having a big sigh. Um, yeah, keep two for like some smaller planters or something. Um, and then, oh yeah, the tire. Okay, so I was originally gonna wrap it in that kind of rope um <clears throat> and i kind of showed steve last night and i was like i don't think this is enough rope the rope was 25 quid around that and it's not even i think i probably need like twice as much and i looked online at loads of rope i looked at loads more like videos and stuff and you would need so much rope and all the videos i watched were all like um american and they seem to be able to get these massive reels of rope for like $17. And I haven't found anywhere that does that much rope for that cheap. I was just thinking this is meant to be like a really cheap DIY hack and it's getting more and more expensive. So I think what I'm gonna do is return that rope. I have some fabric le left over from previous projects. Um, you guys will probably have seen me mention this about a million times before. I picked up a pair of old curtains in a charity store and they were eight quid and I still have so much fabric left. But I actually thought I could try and kind of like reupholster it in a way. So it's gonna be very, very trial and error. So I'm not, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. You're just gonna to have to stay tuned and I'll probably talk you through it afterwards. But yeah, it's gonna be more of an outdoor upholstered kind of poof that we'll definitely have to put in the garage and stuff um, when the weather's not as nice. Uh, but yeah, we shall see.
we are all done. Um, really, really happy with all of like the little accessories, how they turned out and everything. So I'm gonna go show you now what it looks like. So here we have the two chairs. They were originally from eBay. Chucked on a couple of cushions that we had spare that we weren't using. Those are cushion covers from Amazon. The rug, really, really happy with that. It was Ikea. Um, and then yeah, the tire footstool, although it wasn't what I wanted at all, was kind of like intending to make, it turned out really, really nice. And I absolutely love it. And it's not sturdy enough to sit on. However, it actually is a really, really good like footstool and coffee table style thing. The planter actually turned out really, really well. I literally just glued the two bins together, put a couple of screw screws through and just added some stones in there to weigh it down a little bit. But I'm really, really happy with that. Oh, but yeah, overall, really, really happy with all of the little decor bits. I'm happy with how it's kind of come together as a whole. Um, and it just looks like a far more inviting place to go out and sit now. And I was saying to Steve, like it'll be so nice in the evening, we can go out, light some of the candles. Um, in the future, I've said this before, but I wanna do quite a lot more to our garden. That's a bit of fluff. Um, yeah, I wanna do a lot more and get like more fairy lights and just make it far nicer in general. So the patio paint. Right, <laughs> okay, so I did it yesterday um, and I'm having some issues with it already and I'm not entirely sure why. It is very hot today for the UK anyway. It's like, I think it's like 26 degrees. Um, the color, I still think it's too bright for what I wanted. I wanted something less kind of vivid in your face, um, but not just that, it started peeling already. And I honestly don't know why, um, whether it's the heat, like when I researched it, not a lot of people had done it, um, but I had seen that some people had done it, they had used masonry paint. Maybe it's the fact that I use that cupronol paint. Um, so my recommendation is don't do it unless you're desperate. Maybe I shouldn't have done that watered down coat first. I literally have no idea, but like I said, I couldn't find that much um, kind of guidance online as how to do it. It does look a lot better than what we had before and Steve, like, prefers it so much more um but I am I'm kind of disappointed with the color still and the fact that it's flaking I'm really worried about so I think we're just gonna have to leave it for now see if maybe it's just to do with the hot weather um maybe I didn't leave it long enough to dry I honestly have no idea um but yeah I thought I would just be honest and let you know um in case you were thinking of doing something similar but yeah, in the long run, we would love to be able to put some decking out there. Um, that would be far more our kind of style, but it's just money at the end of the day, isn't it? So we shall see. Um, maybe next year we'll look into doing it properly. But for now, I think we're just gonna have to leave it how it is. Um, I will link everything down below, well, as much as possible down below. Like I said, with stuff like the chairs, I noticed they did actually go up in price. Um, so I'm not sure they'll be the same price anymore, but yeah, it will be down there in case you do want to go check it out But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel And if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on So you never miss an upcoming video and until next time. I will see you guys later